Hey guys, welcome to my channel Tokyo Foodie. So in this video today, I'm gonna be showing you a shop called Seria. It's a hundred yen store, just like Daiso in Japan. In this video, I'm gonna show you what they sell and also the things I got at the end of the video. So make sure you stick till the end. Yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Seria is a 100 yen store that operates all across Japan. They have just under 100 branches in Tokyo. In my opinion, the famous 100 yen store Daiso sells a lot of practical products, whereas Seria sells more stylish and cute products. Seria sells a lot of dishes. I love the color of the dish. These are to put soy sauce inside. Oh my god, there's the sushi design! Also some Disney designs. The grumpy Winnie the Pooh is so cute! There are also these colourful small dishes. Some cherry blossom dishes for my cooking videos. These are called ochoko for when you drink sake and it has a cat design. Oh my god, there's a cat inside the Ochoko too! How cute! They also have dog and panda dishes. These mugs are very, very pretty. Ooh, bento boxes? Oh, my company has a canteen so I don't need to make lunch. These are cutleries for your bento box. They also have this butterfly chopstick rest. The ribbon one is also pretty. Wow, these food picks are so cute. They even have a sushi one. Here's a lot of chopsticks. Like a chopstick, Some kitchen stuff, like trays and... Oh, a box dedicated to storing sliced cheese. How useful. Okay, here's the cleaning area. More cleaning stuff. Ooh, a detergent container. That looks prettier than the store-bought detergent packaging. Maybe I'll get that. Ooh, a pink shampoo container. A nice soap dispenser. Some fake flowers. Some decorations. And cute charactered items. That's a Hello Kitty wet towel lid. Wow. Some hair ties and clips. Nail products. And makeup products. Some pool noodles, anyone? Oh my god, these socks are so cute. And they're actually pretty good quality for 100 yen. Here are some bath toys. Watering pots and balloons. Oh my god. This unicorn one looks really nice. Can't believe it's only 100 yen. Ooh, these wrapping papers. You can even get those mini mouse ears. Or cat ears. And more cat ears. Some nice decorative things for your room. These fragrance bottles look nice. Ooh, what's that plate? I see gold. It looks nice, but it's made of plastic. A bottle? Mmm, don't think I need that. Ooh, some wooden boxes. They look nice. That's pretty. Oh my god, I have a very similar plate mat that's gold. And it was definitely not 100 yen. Way more expensive than that. I found my friend! I found this leather looking pencil holder. I love the color. Ooh, more pen stands. With this one, you can lay your phone on it. That's convenient. Yes, something I was looking for socks for my luggage wheels. It's to make sure that the wheels don't dirty the floor inside the house. 
some tissue cases. Hmm, I don't really like the color. And now we are at the stationery area. I used to collect a lot of stationery as a kid. Did you? These are some envelopes. Oh my god, these flower designs are so pretty. There's also the cherry blossoms design. Colorful trees. Random cat. And random rabbits. Here's the notebook area. Ooh, nice flowers. Oops, sorry. Colorful leaves. Yep. Oh, wait. Bright life, bright future. A season to enjoy the song of the forest is coming. Yep, it surely is. This sunny side up notebook is extra fancy. No, this is so cute! Oh, don't worry. If you prefer simple stuff, Seria does sell simple notebooks that really resemble notebooks from Moji. Hmm. These are character notebooks. My favorite, Doraemon. There's Disney and other cartoon character ones too. You can find a lot of pens and pencils. One hundred yen store kitchen items are actually really, really good. That's for heating up frozen rice in the microwave. That's for cooking ramen noodles in the microwave. That's for cooking sunny side up in the microwave. That's for squeezing lemons. Nothing interesting there. Don't know why I picked that. I really should have shown you the dumpling maker at the bottom. A hundred yen store sells a lot of boxes for storage. I needed to get a lot of these for my room. Okay, so I am now back in my room and I'm gonna show you everything I got. I got quite a bit of stuff. So in total, I purchased 31 products and it was 3,410 yen in total. I don't think I've ever bought that much in a 100 yen store. But yeah, let's go through everything. I actually have quite a bit of stuff, so I'm gonna go through them quickly. And also, today I went to Muji and also a 300 yen store called 3Coins. And yeah, I actually bought quite a bit of stuff there as well, so I thought I'd break down the video into three videos. So this one's gonna be the 100 yen store haul video, and the next one is gonna be either the Muji video or the 3 coin video, and then the third one is gonna be the one that's left. So if you are interested, make sure you watch all three of the videos. Yay! 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 <laughs> Alright, so let me start off with the storage first. So I got... Uh, okay, I can't take them out. First of all, I got four of these storage boxes um, for me to put them in the black um, drawer thing that I have, the trolley thing. Um, so yeah, I have four of these. These should be able to fit. If not, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Next, um, three of those for the kitchen. Same thing. They're actually like really, really good quality. They're only like... 100 yen well they are 100 yen which is like a dollar and these are very very good so oh my god so that's that another three set and three more of these book stand things um i'm gonna put like toiletries in here and put them under the sink in my bathroom i wanted four of these but they only had three so i was like mm. but i want a pretty one they had enough of the white plain ones but i wanted this like nice looking design so I was like yeah I'll just get three of them and if I go some other day and find one then I'll get another one and if not well too bad <laughs> anyway um, this one's for the white trolley that I got from Ikea I'm hoping to put them like that and put some I don't know like stationary stuff inside hopefully or maybe I can stack it yeah it's very nice so that's 100 yen each again that is a lock pack <laughs> Um, I wanted to put some protein powder in a box because right now I put them in a Ziploc, Ziploc bag and they don't stand and they're kind of hard to open and close every single time so yeah, I thought it's best to get a box yeah so that's for that and then a bottle to make some cold brew tea this is 100 yen I cannot believe it it doesn't have a tea strainer but it's okay I'll just put like tea bags inside yeah and then that's uh I'm gonna put some pens and scissors and stuff inside like stationery box yeah it's like fake leather and it looks very very expensive it does not look like 100 yen and i love the color and then these are some more remake sheets they're called um to decorate some 
some of my background and stuff and maybe I can put these around the storage boxes and they might look nicer in Japan you can get these tubed like ginger, garlic and wasabi and stuff and you can hook these inside your fridge and yeah they're like separated into four so you can put like four tubes inside so I got that that is a hair straightener stand so you can hook this on the door you can put your hair straightener inside like this and yeah store it there this one's a foldable silicone cup I'll actually show you I don't need this inside the house but I thought like if I start going into the office I'd probably want to like brush my teeth in the office um, Japanese people do that we, we brush our teeth in the office bathroom yeah everyone does that Oh, oh, it even has a lid. You can just like push this out. My nail. You can push these down and it becomes like a small cup. It's very cute. These little cute socks for... Oh my god! So these are meant to be socks for my suitcase, but I did not realize it only had three. I think it's meant to have four, but I think it's missing one. I Yeah, it's my fault for not checking it. Mm. Mm, yeah, too bad. And then I got some wooden stick. I already have a wooden stick, but it's getting quite dirty, so I thought I'd get a new one. These are the water absorbing material toothbrush stand. You know, um, Chris Broad was talking about his asbestos bath mat. Um, it's the same material that makes the bath mat, but except this one hopefully doesn't have asbestos inside. Yeah, so that's to keep the toothbrush dry and hygienic. And then I got some scissors for my plants. I have a plant called Monstera and it's getting quite big, so I thought I'd try to segregate them. And by, you know, to do that, I need some scissors. So that's why I got these. I also got these kitchen scissors because I didn't have them surprisingly and I got these to put my hopefully like my lipsticks inside yeah to store them quite cute it's plastic so it doesn't break and I also got my cup for brushing the teeth um, this is for the house the the silicone one was for the office it's pretty very pretty I like it it's also plastic and this is like a um, dishwasher bottle I do have a bottle, but it's like doesn't look nice, so I thought I'd get a simple one like this. It's quite cute, yeah. And then onto some makeup stuff. I got this brush cleaner, so apparently you can just like brush your brush your brush. <laughs> uh, yeah, brush your brush on this, and apparently all the eyeshadows and stuff comes off. I can use like different colors in between. And speaking of brushes, I got a very thin brush. I've been wanting a very thin brush for my eyeshadows and like I only had a really thick one so I thought I'd get one. Normally these 100 yen store brushes are very very nice, they're very soft. I don't know if you can see but yeah, mm, it feels quite decent. So hopefully I'm gonna use that for like really thin lines. And then lastly I have the eyebrow pencil. Sometimes the 100 yen store eyebrow pencils and powders are quite good but I have, I've have i never tried these and these are like meant to be really really thin so I thought it's gonna be quite interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna see what it's like. I've never seen anybody review this so I'm gonna review it myself. Yeah. So that was my cereal haul. What do you think about the things I bought? Is there anything that interested you or is there anything in the shop that I didn't buy that interested you? Do let me know in the comment section down below. My favorite food today is probably this pink leather looking stand and maybe the straightener holder if it, if it works. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more future videos about Japanese foods and culture. And also, make sure to watch my other two videos. Bye! <laughs> and then that's a... Um, I'm planning to use this as a pen stand. Pen stand? What's it called?